Alright guys, picked up more, some more stuff here this week. Um, did a little um, faceplate job for a buddy of mine. He needed a, a pattern made for the front end of a, a steam train, small model one, but uh, I've got a whole video showing how I did that. And I used some of these blanks right here that he gave me. Uh, I suppose if he needs one, I'd just give it back to him if I was, you know, if he needed it or whatever. But uh, anyway, we got one, two, three, four, we got five of them. So those would be handy for something. And then I come up with another one of these. And uh, this one is actually the right size for, for my lathe. The width here is, was the problem with the other one. And this one's in excellent condition. We're, we're missing one brass finger, but I mean, that's, you know, that's easy enough to come by. But uh, that should uh, make a nice pattern, I think, for, uh, for some more. I have to clean it up a little bit, but yeah, probably I'll do a video on how to do that sort of work too. And then uh, this here was an eBay purchase. Well, so was the so was the steady rest. I think I paid like seventy-five dollars maybe for that, which is a pretty good price. Uh, they usually go for more than that. Anyway, this thing here was a real steal. So these are a set of uh, parallels. They're tapered. They're kind of like the, kind of like taper parallels, but uh, you use, you know, you pick them up and you make different combinations. We're missing three bars. You see, they're angled, right? So you put them together, and then there's a chart here. If you use whatever sizes together, it covers a range. So these are nice. They're rounded. You can put them inside of a bore or in a square slot. And then you kind of wedge them in there, and then you measure the outside of this with a micrometer. So I think these were like five dollars. So I think that's a pretty screaming deal. And they're uh, it's a brown and sharp number six seventy two. And they're really nicely ground. I might want to. I don't know. It might need to be just polished a little bit there on the edge. Some of them they kind of feel like they may have some little burrs or something on there and that would of course that would throw the accuracy off uh, I'll have to see if somebody with a surface grinder might be able to actually remake the ones that are missing uh, two of them here are missing the A's there's two A's and that covers a quarter to one sixth or to, excuse me one quarter to five sixteenths that's uh you know not very much uh, but but that pair is missing so but I mean yeah we just can't measure that size, I guess. And then the C bar, it's missing, and uh, it's only used on two different sizes, so we're not missing too many different measurements that we can take on this on this set. It covers most of them. So anyway, that was a pretty good steal. I don't know if people pass on stuff like this. I think because maybe they just don't know what it is or how you would use it, but uh, that'll be handy. So. I think that's about it for this. No, I've got some more stuff coming, but it hasn't gotten here yet.